appears set for the commencement of the production at Dangote Refinery as the company says it has received its first 1 million barrels of Abami crude grade from Shell International Trading and Shipping Company Limited, Stasco. MT Otis multi-tanker, which carried the crude, was said to have sailed to Dangote Refinery's single point mooring, SPM, where it discharged the 1 million barrels into the refinery's crude oil tanks. The company says the inaugural 1 million barrel of crude supply, which represents the first phase of the 6 million barrels to be supplied to the refinery by several suppliers, should sustain the initial 350,000 barrels per day need for the commencement of the crude production at its facility. Our energy correspondent, Olu Phillips, has more. First crude oil to arrive the Dangote refinery and um, put an end to all of the speculations and months and years of construction of visitation by government officials and putting together all of those columns and all of those um, machineries that has translated today to the 650,000 um, single um, refinery and the largest in the world today. From the engineers and those who know, they tell me that that distance is about 13 kilometers for um, the longest um, traveling pipe all the way from that SBM into the refineries and the size of that pipe is quite massive 48 inches in diameter for the crew like actually five lines um, just uh, just to let you know so three of those lines are for um, product export meaning that truly when this refinery um, commences in earnest and refines product it can export various variants of products through those three lines and two lines are dedicated to uh, or for the crude import into the refinery and each of them are 48 inches like i said earlier uh, 48 inches in diameter the export line uh, 24 inches in diameter and all of these things have been carefully and uh, painfully and painstakingly um, in installed to make sure that this refinery everything it needs the jetty the refinery the transportation the piping the sbm is available and is ready and hopefully the management says this will not be like any other refinery that you've ever seen the pioneer crude tanker that has brought the first one million barrels of crude oil for refining at the dangote refinery putting an end to months and years of speculations as regards the efficacy and the availability and the readiness of the Dangote refinery. Remind, let me also quickly remind you, there's a 650,000 barrels um, crude refining capacity and the single largest in the world today. Now, um, the reason you have that vessel out there is because it's going to moor at the SBM, that red stuff you see there is called the SBM, which is the single, mo single ball mooring, which is an interconnectivity uh, a mooring point for discharging and for accepting product on um, on the on an offshore facility. So this allows you that that red stuff allows you to discharge and also get product um, for sh large ships and containers, ship uh, and 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 vessels to um, moor there and be able to discharge their um, product. Now the implication is that beneath these waters are buried pipelines five of them five lines traveling all the way from this sbm all the way to the jetty five of them two out of five of them are 48 inches diameter pipeline that receives crude from a vessel like this into this sbm and straight down to the jetty and straight up into the refinery it's about 13 kilometers from this point to the refineries and the other three pipelines 24 inches are for discharge so the same system works a vessel like this can bring in crude a vessel like this can take out refined product and the water is the beauty the water is the transport means the water and the ocean here is the means of blue economy and it has come alive today hopefully in the days ahead um, once it's this when she discharges her 1 million barrels um, after anchoring on the SBM into the Dangote refinery and after all the processes most likely and expectedly um, finished products will be coming out of that um, refining and we are yet to um, be, we are yet to know how many um, barrels or how many liters of PMS diesel 
ATK and what are the other derivatives that can come out from this singular um, um, discharge that is about to happen here. So this is just a seamless way of bringing in crude and a seamless way of taking out um, refined product and hopefully all of the economics and all of these conversations around what will happen now that the Dangote refinery has started you can watch channels television as we keep you updated on what will be happening with those products and how that helps um, to saturate the market with um, the derivatives of crude oil and that will be the first that will be happening in a long while especially for refining which is not happening in Nigeria for a very 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 long time from 13 nautical miles away um, somewhere around the SBM and Dangote's SBM, the Solu Phillips reporting for Channels Television News.